Mike Duddy, Jack Corfield, two navigators known for their love of food and their supposed skills in the kitchen. But as is custom, there can only be one foodie navigator. And so Mike threw down the gauntlet on an October baking and bartending competition. One tasty treat. One tricky drink for the judges to enjoy. Knowing a trap when he sees one, Jack agreed, but only on the condition that everything had to be vegan. Who will be the king of sweets? Who will be candy crushed? Watch more to find out. So, Mike thinks he can challenge me. Take me on in the kitchen? Well, I have something for him. Today, we're going to be making a little bit of pumpkin pie. Now, of course, this challenge is a vegan challenge, so uh, I've stuck to coconut cream for our sort of creamy texture to the whole thing, and uh, I've happened to find uh, a little bit of vegan pie crust, which is going to be my secret weapon, because the less time I have to spend on this, the more time I can spend on my drink. So, we're going to start out with uh, some basic measurement tools. Got them. Here they are. Some bowls. You know, the good stuff. And, uh, yeah, a nice little recipe on the fridge, because uh, I don't know how to make pumpkin pie, and I never have before. So let's see how this goes. We're going to start off with our spice mix here. Uh, next up, we're going to have some cornstarch. Get all our dries together. Mmm, brown sugar. Yes. One half cup. And for the white granulated sugar, also one half cup. Oh. Okay, well, that'll do. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next we got some... Oh yeah, it's just all the pumpkin now. And the cream. <clears throat> so, a little bit of some pepper. And one cup coconut cream. Ah, oh, you have to see those chunks. I miss my little baking buddy. No song. So sad. What is this? Halloween? Or Thanksgiving? I don't know how to chant Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, 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 Thanksgiving. It's not the same. Oh yeah. That's what you like to see. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, now we have our pie. We're going to put it in the oven for one hour until it looks jiggly. Now, if the edges start to burn, we're gonna make a little pie shield out of aluminum foil, but we'll see if we even have to do that. I got a pretty hot oven, so I'm expecting I will. So let's get one thing straight. I know for a fact, since I am the pie guy around the nav, that Jack is gonna try something with pie. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a shift and let's do some cupcakes. All right, so this is about everything we're gonna to need to make our cupcakes. We're gonna make some nice vegan Halloween chocolate and blackberry cupcakes. So we got our blackberries. We've also got some soy milk there. We've got some flour, some sugar. We've got some applesauce to give us a little bit of that moisture and chew that we're not gonna get from the eggs. We've got some cocoa powder. We've got some olive oil. We've got some coffee, but make sure you check out the nav.ca for the full recipe. All the dry ingredients into a bowl and I'm just gonna pour it in. And now buttermilk, for those of you who have never had buttermilk is kind of an acidic milk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the apple cider vinegar here and we're gonna add that to it as well. Uh, and we're gonna give that a quick whisk. All right, so we've got our coffee mixed up. Let's get that added in there real quick. And that's just gonna enhance some of the chocolate flavor. Next up, we are going to add the rest of our wet ingredients. 
So here we go. We have our dry ingredients. We're going to add our wet to the dry. And into the oven at 365. All right, so while those bake, uh, actually, as you can see in the frame here, they're already baked, but we're gonna make some blackberry compote. Uh, so what we wanna do is get a nonstick pan on medium heat, throw our blackberries in there until they start to let their juices off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our powdered sugar. This is gonna gel with the juices and produce a nice sweet mixture uh, that's going to boil down into this delicious sort of jam-like consistency that is perfect for crepes, or in our case, filling our cupcakes and mixing in to our buttercream icing. All right, now that we've got that compote made, we're going to try to make some buttercream icing, which is kind of hard to make when they're vegan, given that both butter and cream are not vegan things. Uh, what we've got here is a double boiler. Uh, so that's boiling water in the bottom of the pot and inside the bowl, we've put some aquafaba. Uh, that's going to give us kind of an egg yolky consistency to try to make a meringue out of. Uh, I've added some powdered sugar to that and I started mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. Now I mixed for over an hour, uh, honestly, I would not recommend doing this with a hand mixer. Even on high speed, you should be using a stand mixer if that's available to you. Uh, Jack actually showed up here just shortly after that with a plan for his whipped cream to do this. Uh, fortunately, I was able to integrate some vegan butter to kind of create my buttercream, but Jack was not so lucky. All right, well, since Jack has a lot of whipped cream whipping to do, I'm gonna go ahead and make my drink. Uh, this step needs to be done two hours in advance, and that is cut up six apples and three pears into small chunks. Uh, that will allow us to go ahead and put all of it into a bowl and cover it in a nice big bottle of Fireball. Yes, this recipe does not measure in ounces, it measures in bottles. So we're gonna go ahead, dump that whole 750 ml bottle into the bowl and cover it up and put it in the fridge for two hours. Now two hours have passed, we're gonna go ahead and get our serving vessels uh, together. The bigger the better, in this case I have to split it in two. Uh, so we've got two of these mason jar uh, spigot servers. Uh, I'm gonna split all of this up and just pour it all in. And you can see my bottle of Pinot Grigio, the cheaper the better. Uh, to pour into these. Now, of course, I have to split this whole bottle in half because I've split it in half. And from there, I'm also going to add one liter of apple cider to each. Finally, I'm going to top this off with my most unlucky of beverages, club soda. Oh, there it is again. I explode. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and add half a liter to each of these containers and then go ahead and give it a stir and we are ready to serve. This tastes like apple pie and is always a crowd pleaser. All right, so <laughs> as you can hear distantly in the background, we are still whipping the whipping cream. So it's not going super well, but we're gonna try again uh, with just the aquafaba to make this gin fizz have a little bit more pop on top. Okay, so first we're gonna start off. How do nice. I watch my eyes? <laughs> That's a good point. We're gonna start up with a two ounce pour of this lovely Midnight Gin. Two ounces, two ounces. Okay, and in the same amount, we're gonna do a little bit of this regular simple syrup. It's just sugar and water. Yes. We're just gonna put a dash of lemon in each of these. And then it turns back into purple. Oh yeah, that's the fuzz we're looking for. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, right there. And now, <laughs> I'm just gonna pour it in here, a little extra. Now we do this. Watch this. Well, we've come to the end of the challenge, it seems. We have, finally. Your whipping cream never came together. No, alas, it did not. It is a quite unwhipped cream, uh, but I believe in this case, it should be sufficient flavor-wise to accent the flavors I'm hoping to bring out in my pie. 
All right, uh, so today I have for you a fall sangria that should taste somewhat like apple pie, as well as a blackberry and chocolate vegan cupcake. And on my side, we have a lovely vegan uh, pumpkin pie with a little bit of walnut and a nice silken style uh, sort of soy whipped uh, cream, not so whipped in this case, and a gin fizz made with midnight gin. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Pass it <laughs> <down>. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yes, I forgot there's two. There is two. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet too. It's like perfect balance. Mm. They both appear like, in my mind, very aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. I lean towards Jack's because purple, 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 purple. <laughs> <laughs> but I also do quite like the. Mm -hmm. I think maybe part of it's the mug, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, and the. Great presentation. presentation. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. But I think, oh, mm. I think I'm gonna have to go with them apples. Yeah. Ah, well, this is, I mean, like Tiana said, both aesthetically pleasing, and I love purple, so. Um, however, this was very overpowering, um, or at least compared to this drink. We have a warm up. Yeah, it's a warm up and then whoa. Um, so as a nice, um, like, fancy bar option, I would probably choose. Um, Mike's was nice and refreshing, um, very easy to drink. Um, I admit the experience of having the fruit on top, um, uh, you having to use a spoon it does dampen it a bit. But if I were to choose between making one of these for myself, I'd probably go with this one. So I have to go with Mike's. Yeah. So, it also tastes like fall, that's the thing. It tastes exactly like how I would picture fall. Well, I love both of them. I think this one by Mike is very cozy and fall-like. Like if I was visiting home or something, I feel like this is something I would drink for sure. Um, I like the apples and the pear. I think, for me, it's a bit too much apple. Um, and then this one, um, I really like the color and the glitter. And I think it's pretty fancy with all the foam on top. And it is a little bit sweet, but I love the gin flavor. And overall, I think that one's my favorite. Mm, First of all, I'm concerned that you've used a spoon instead of a fork. That's an interesting <laughs> idea. I, I, I see where you're coming from there, but I actually think this is better in this specific case because the whipped cream did not come together. Mm, fair enough. <laughs> so for the I'll allow in it. This, I thought this was really good. It's super smooth and um, really tasty. It did fall apart on me. I was a little sad about that. Um, but otherwise, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, and very spooky. The presentation was done really well. The purple turned out really nice. And maybe it's not supposed to, but it matches really well with Jack's drinks. And I thought that was cool. You know, Jack, I love that your 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 pumpkin pie is so pumpkiny. <laughs> it is the exact amount of pumpkiny that I want it to be. However, <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Me? Spooky. <laughs> spooky. <laughs> the blackberry scares me, but I love pudding in things. I love pudding where I don't expect there to be pudding. Not like pudding, but like jam. Mm -hmm. Any kind of custard. I love liquids and not liquids. <laughs> Okay. So, I think I gotta give this one to Mike. Yeah. Mike, your cupcake was a delight. The frosting was nice and smooth. The berries were a lovely touch. The experience itself was lovely. However, I'm a creature of habit. 
and I love pumpkin pie and homemade pumpkin pie. Um, I haven't had many of that. And combined with the vegan non-whipped cream, <laughs> uh, it, it was, I'm afraid I'll have to give this one to Jack. Yeah. I, <laughs> um, starting with the pumpkin pie, I thought the, it was very smooth and very much like going home for Thanksgiving and kind of home baked pie. Really liked that. Um, I like to see all the effort that was put into the whipped cream, um, which is now just cream, but it was very tasty and a good complement of the pie very well. Um, yeah, pumpkin pie is very nice, good crust, everything. Um, next with the cupcake tasted great, beautiful presentation, and um, I'm a little scared that my lips are black, but I can't tell. Um, yeah, beautiful presentation. I kind of destroyed it. I feel a little bad about that, um, but tasted great. Um, compote was very good. It was very technical, I think, compared to the pumpkin pie, but I think for a classic, I have to go with the pumpkin pie. Because <sighs> I love that pumpkin spice season. Well, I guess Jack and I tied 1-1. And you know what? That's fine, because at the end of the day, this season's about spending time with friends and family and enjoying a good meal. For the NAV, I'm Mike Duddy. Thanks for watching.